Nature. Beautiful. Calm. Hellfire. Ambience. More hellfire. Welcome to California, where its greatest problem is wildfires. Because of climate change, California's wildfire season has gone from barely noticeable to unignorable. It darkened our skies, polluted our air, and has become a hazard to not only civilians, but the state of firefighters who keep us all safe. According to the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, there were 7,127 wildfires in the year 2023. Those wildfires caused about 324,000 acres of our state to burn. Dense forests and drier areas are more prone to fires due to heat. However, a fire can strike anywhere at any time, so it is always important to be prepared. In the past, firefighters have used all of their resources for every type of situation. And while fire trucks, fire hoses, and other materials are still widely used in forest fires, many stations have started using different tools. Tools that were made to prevent civilian casualties while still dealing with forest fires. Captain Joe Juarez has been working as a firefighter for 24 years. He specializes in hazmat and was dispatched at the Nuns Fire in Sonoma County in 2017. My role in the fire service is, uh, as an engine company captain is to uh, supervise the uh, company members that I'm, that I'm assigned uh, to for the day and respond to emergencies. In recent years, drones are being used to help firefighters with wildfire prevention and extinguishing flames from high areas. During the 2020 and 2021 fire seasons, drones as large as MC9 Reapers were launched in an effort to provide real-time tracking of the wildfire complexes for firefighters on the ground. There's lots of technology that we have that's new uh, from what I, that we didn't have available from when I first started. Um, some of the stuff that we have that's common now is like thermal imager cameras that uh, everybody has uh, that we carry on on our on our gear uh, that we use for uh, structure fires mainly. A fire watch tower is a small lookout in forests where firefighters watch for any notable activity and report it to the main station. This could be anything from a missing person to a potential wildfire. However, this leaves them at risk of potential fires and other dangers. So some stations have switched to cameras to reduce the risk. We have uh, mo uh, mobile computers that were that are on the engines that uh, we didn't have when I first started. New technologies like uh, like drones that uh, that we're able to use uh, to assist us with uh, lo looking at uh, large areas in a short amount of time. And then with uh, even with hazmat, we have lots of new tech technology that we can use to help us um, uh, identify uh, unknown chemicals and materials in a, in a short amount of time as well. When it comes to those impacted by wildfires, it may not be you now, but it could be you.